Archaeological digs above the clouds, exposing new chapters in our ancient history. Have you ever wondered what secrets the skies hold about our ancient past? Thanks to groundbreaking technology called LiDAR, archaeologists can now unlock past mysteries in a way that was once impossible. With LiDAR, massive areas of land can be scanned in just a few hours, revealing incredible archaeological finds that might have otherwise gone undiscovered for centuries. Hello and welcome back to The Abandoned Archaeologist, the channel to learn all about ancient archaeological findings. Today we will explore the exciting world of LiDAR and the big archaeological digs happening in the sky. But before we begin, to get your attention, we have a question you can answer at the end of the video. What are some of the biggest archaeological finds made using LiDAR technology? Write down your answer in the comment section and see if you got it right. Here we begin. Archaeology is facing a race against time as a threat of destruction looms over thousands of years of human history. From small villages to entire cities, ancient settlements are at risk of being erased due to urbanization, industrial agriculture, international conflict, and climate change. The consequences are grave, with priceless temples, walls, and roads being lost forever. To combat this problem, archaeologists are turning to the sky for help. The traditional method of excavation is no longer the most efficient solution. Instead, the focus has shifted towards mapping the human archaeological record from above using LiDAR technology. LiDAR, an acronym for Light Detection and Ranging, has become one of the most popular tools for rapid archaeological documentation. This technology involves sending pulses of light from a transmitter mounted to a helicopter skid and recording the time it takes for the pulses to return to a sensor. As a result, a virtual 3D map can be generated from a single large-scale survey in less than a day. This means that archaeological sites that would normally require years of fieldwork to excavate can now be mapped in a single afternoon, capturing every surface feature down to millimeter scale resolution. Moreover, the beauty of this technology is that it can penetrate thickets, woods and even rainforests as individual bursts of light can pass through tiny gaps separating branches and leaves in a forest canopy. This feature enables LiDAR to map archaeological features that lie beneath heavily overgrown landscapes with exceptional accuracy. Additionally, LiDAR's cost has decreased as new devices and firms have entered the market, leading to enthusiastic uptake in urban mapping projects, geological hazard management, and archaeology. Geo1, a subsidiary of NV5 Geospatial, is one of the firms leading the charge in providing LiDAR services to both utility companies and archaeologists. Geo1 is based in a converted helicopter hangar at the Hawthorne Airport in Los Angeles, California. Its founder and CEO, Ron Chappell, came to LiDAR from a previous career in aerial cinematography. Several years ago, Chapel and his team were hired to film an electrical transmission line for a municipal client. After completing the job, another crew arrived, commissioned to capture imagery of the same transmission line. One of them pulled out a strange new device, not a camera, but a sensor. This strange device piqued Chapel's curiosity, leading him to invest in his own light sensor equipment. When we invested in LiDAR technology, it proved transformative for our work says Ron Chappell, the founder and CEO of Geo1. Thanks to LiDAR, his team captured most of the settlement in Ciudad Perdida, Colombia, in a single afternoon, saving years of strenuous fieldwork. For a remote site like this, getting there on foot would have taken two and a half days of hiking, Chappell adds. However, processing the vast amount of data collected by LiDAR surveys is a challenge. A single survey can produce several terabytes of data, which requires powerful software to analyze and present the findings, Chappell explains. But the original data only gets better over time as the algorithms improve. With one software update, all of a sudden, we had more data, Chappell says. 
This means that data captured five years ago can still reveal new features if processed through updated software. The window of opportunity for using LiDAR technology to map archaeological features is narrow. Physical features overlooked by earlier software might be destroyed by developers or looted beyond recognition in the time between data collection and software updates. Chapel warns, therefore it is crucial to act swiftly and effectively to preserve the information captured by LiDAR as it may provide valuable insights into our history and heritage. The potential for discovery in unexplored areas is vast, whether it be due to unscanned regions or algorithmic limitations. Even in countries like the UK, where tropical rainforests and hidden cities are not a factor, landscapes are still yet to be discovered. David Ratledge, a former engineer for the county of Lancashire in England, has spent his 45-year career designing roads, bridges and highways. In his free time, he is an amateur archaeologist and a history enthusiast, searching for the lost roads and overgrown highways of Roman Britain. When LiDAR data was released by the UK Environment Agency, Ratledge's hobby took a massive leap forward. The data allowed him to identify previously undiscovered Roman roads with greater accuracy. Using LiDAR data, Ratledge and his friends moved from studying digital maps to physically exploring the countryside, hoping to locate the roads in person. In some cases, the LiDAR data helped them locate linear features they could not see otherwise. In one particular case, Ratledge and his team discovered that a local farmer had no idea that a Roman road ran through his fields. The farmer, however, did have an inkling of where the road was, as he knew where to drive his tractor to avoid sinking into the mud. Ratledge and his team followed the line of the tractor and discovered a previously unknown Roman road. The LiDAR data allowed Ratledge and his team to discover this hidden road, which had gone unnoticed for centuries. According to Ratledge, there is much more to discover, and LiDAR technology may just be the most efficient way to uncover new stories from the human past before they are lost forever. As Ratledge stated, there is more to see, much more, and whether it's the Colombian rainforest or the British countryside, LiDAR might be the best and fastest way to find new stories from the human past before they vanish without a trace. Is LiDAR technology beneficial? In all, LiDAR technology has become an indispensable tool in the field of archaeology, enabling archaeologists to map, document, and preserve sites with unprecedented speed and accuracy. With the ability to create precise 3D images of the landscape, LiDAR has revolutionized the way we approach archaeological research, allowing us to uncover hidden details about the past that may have otherwise gone unnoticed. Furthermore, LiDAR technology has made it possible to preserve the archaeological record, even in the face of destruction or climate change. The potential applications of LiDAR technology are vast, and as more areas are mapped, we can expect to make new discoveries that will deepen our understanding of human history. From the Colombian rainforest to the British countryside, LiDAR technology has enabled us to find new stories from the human past before they vanish without a trace. As we continue to develop and refine this technology, we can look forward to unlocking even more secrets about our shared heritage. So this is all about the archaeological digs above the clouds, exposing new chapters in our ancient history. Comment your views and the answer to our question is, LiDAR has helped uncover ancient cities, pyramids, and other structures in Central and South America as well as hidden structures in Cambodia and Greece. Subscribe for more such uploads.